Hi Sparklies, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I've got something a little bit different for you tonight because here in the UK it's Coronation Eve. <laughs> the King Charles III will be getting crowned tomorrow so I've got a nice coronation quiz for you tonight. So if you'd like to join in I've got 15 questions, I'm going to read them out and then I'm going to read the answers at the end. So grab something to write on, something to write with and join me for our coronation quiz. Question number one. In 1917, the royal family changed their name to Windsor, but what did they change it from? That's question number one. Now, don't forget, I'm going to go through these questions quite quickly. If you need a little bit of time to think, you can pause in between each one. <laughs> I won't judge you. This isn't who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> Question number two, what is King Charles III's birthstone? What is King Charles III's birthstone? Question number three, when was King, sorry, where was King Charles III born? Where was King Charles III born? If you can hear, um, yeah, in the background, my... <laughs> My little puppies are in a crazy mood tonight. So Heathcliff, this is Big Puppy, he's one and a half. Um, and Moriarty, he's 12 weeks, have just been just crazily running round. And because I do the live show on Friday, we call it Friday Night Naughties. <laughs> so that's what they've been doing tonight. So if you hear them sort of going around, then yeah, that's what it is. Question number four, the St Edward's crown is only used during the coronation but how much does it weigh and i've given you a multiple choice for this one so is it a two pounds b five pounds or c eleven pounds the st edward's crown is only used during the coronation but how much does it weigh is it a two pounds b five pounds or c eleven pounds and that is question number four Question number five, how old will King Charles III be when he's crowned, when he's coronated? How old will King Charles III be when he is coronated? Question number six, what is the only original piece of the coronation regalia used in the ceremony? So tomorrow, or if you're watching on catch up, <laughs> during the coronation you'll see the coronation regalia what is the only original piece of coronation regalia used during the ceremony and that's question number six question number seven when was the first documented coronation at westminster abbey so we're looking for the monarch and i'm going to give you multiple choice so when was the first documented coronation at westminster abbey was it for william the conqueror was it for Henry VIII or was it for Queen Victoria? And that's question number seven. Question number eight. King Charles will wear the imperial state crown as he leaves Westminster Abbey. How many diamonds are in the crown? Don't worry, I'm going to give you multiple choice. It's lots. <laughs> but is it 868, 1868? or 2,868. How many diamonds are in that imperial crown? So question number nine, will the queen consort wear a crown at the coronation? So Camilla is the queen consort, but will she wear a crown at the coronation? Yes or no? That's question number nine. Question number 10, from which language is the word coronation derived? Question number 10, <laughs> I nearly gave you the answer. <laughs> I'm skimming, skimming down these there. Question number 10, from which language is the word coronation derived? Question number 11, how many horses pull the gold state coach? How many horses pull the gold state coach? That's question number 11. Now question number 12. In what year was the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II? 
In what year was the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II? That's question number 12. Question number 13. How many grandchildren does King Charles III have? Now, I'm not including step-grandchildren here. How many grandchildren does King Charles III have? Question number 14. Where was His Majesty King Charles III's first visit abroad, aged five? Was it A, Spain, B, Malta or C, France? So King Charles III made his first visit abroad, aged five. <laughs> Crazy puppy time. <laughs> but where did he go? Was it A, Spain, B, Malta or C, France? Question number 14. Oh, that was question number 14. I'm put off by crazy, <laughs> by crazy puppy things. Question number 15. The king is a keen painter and had a painting exhibited anonymously in the Royal Academy's 1987 summer exhibition. But what medium was the painting? Was it A, oil, B, acrylics or C, watercolour? So King Charles III is a keen painter and had a painting exhibited anonymously in the Royal Academy's 1987 summer exhibition. In which medium was the painting? Was it A, oil, B, acrylic or C, watercolour? So there are 15 questions. Go through and go back and see if there are any that you missed. I'm going to give you the answers now. It's always exciting, the answers. So question number one, I asked you, in 1917, the royal family changed their name from, uh, to, sorry, to Windsor. But what did they change it from? And it was Saxe Coburg and Gotha. So the change was made by George V. There was a, um, an anti-German sentiment here in the UK during the First World War. So they took the name of Windsor Castle. <laughs> Can you believe the amount of craziness tonight, honestly? It's it's Friday night. I don't know what it is. It just makes them absolutely crazy. I don't know if it's because they, you know, they can kind of sense the concentration. Question number two. I asked you, what is King Charles III's birthstone? And the answer is Topaz. His birthday is the 14th of November, 1948. Question number three, where was King Charles III born? And he was born in Buckingham Palace. Question number four, the St Edward's crown is only used during the coronation, but how much does it weigh? And we gave you multiple choice. I asked, was it A, two pounds, B, five pounds, or C, 11 pounds? And the answer is five pounds. It's really heavy. The monarchs actually have to practice wearing the crown before the coronation. And King Charles, when he was interviewed a few years ago, has a memory of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, coming in before her coronation and kissing him goodnight. And she was wearing the crown, of course, because she had to practice before her coronation. Question number five. How old will King Charles III be when he's coronated, when he's crowned? He will be 74 He's the oldest person to accede the British throne and the longest serving heir apparent and Prince of Wales. So we are going on now to question number six. I asked you, what is the only piece of coronation regalia used in the ceremony? It's the coronation spoon and it's used to anoint the monarch with holy oil. That's my anointing that's how I, I would do it there we go so the original Tudor crown jewels were broken up and sold for scrap during the interregnum under Oliver Cromwell oh my goodness sold for scrap the original crown jewels depending on how far you want to go back were actually lost by King John in the wash in 1216 still out there somewhere just lost oh my goodness so question number seven, when was the first documented coronation at Westminster Abbey? I asked you, was it William the Conqueror, Henry VIII or Queen Victoria? And it was William the Conqueror. Question number eight, King Charles will wear the imperial state crown as he leaves Westminster Abbey. How many diamonds are in the crown? I asked you, was it 868, 1868 
or 2,868? And the answer, 2,868. Set in silver, the diamonds, and mostly rose cut or table cut, the other coloured gemstones are set in a gold setting. We've got sapphires, emeralds and pearls. 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds and 269 pearls. Absolutely amazing. 2,868 diamonds in the Imperial State Crown. Question number nine. Will the Queen Consort wear a crown at the coronation? And the answer is yes. So Queen Consort Camilla will wear a crown. Um, in the interest of sustainability, it's the first time in recent history that a Queen Consort has worn an existing crown. She'll wear Queen Mary's crown. And she's actually had the Koh-i-Noor diamond removed from that crown and replaced with the Cullinan third, fourth and fifth. And that's as a tribute to our late Queen Elizabeth II. Those diamonds were part of her personal jewellery collection. Question number 10, from which language is the word coronation derived? And it's derived from Latin, from corona, meaning crown. Question number 11, how many horses pull the gold state coat? And the answer is eight. The coach weighs an amazing four tons and takes eight horses. So the horses are Windsor Greys. Now forgive me because I haven't memorised these names, but the horses that will pull the coach, the gold coach, gold state coach, are Icon, Shadow, Milford Haven, Echo, Knightsbridge, Tyrone, Meg and Newark. So eight Windsor Grey horses to pull a gold state coach. Heathcliff adding his uh, two penneth in there about the state coach. You could pull the state coach, honestly. It's normally the state coach is only ever pulled at walking pace because it's so heavy. And it's also quite chilly. The Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, um, for her coronation, had a hot water bottle in the coach um, because it was unseasonably cold for her coronation and quite rainy, so to keep warm. She had a hot water bottle in there. If it was pulled by Cairn Terriers, like my two Cairn Terriers, it would not be at a walking pace. It would be the fastest coach ever seen at a coronation. These two crazies. Question number 12, I asked you in what year was the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II? And the answer is 1953, 2nd of June, 1953. Question number 13, I'm not, not quite sure what's going on over there. There's something crazy going on. Question number 13, how many grandchildren does King Charles III have? I've not included step-grandchildren in this question. And the answer is five, Prince George, Princess Lilibet, Prince Louis, Princess Charlotte and Prince Archie. Question number 14, where was His Majesty's first visit abroad aged five? Was it Spain, Malta or France? And the answer is Malta. And question number 16, the king is a keen painter and had a painting displayed anonymously in the Royal Academy's 1987 summer exhibition. In which medium was the painting? Was it oil, acrylics or watercolour? And the answer was watercolour. So I hope you've enjoyed our fun coronation quiz. Total up, let me know how many questions you got right in the comments below. If you're watching the coronation tomorrow, I hope you really enjoy it and have a fabulous time. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I always love to know. Until next time, see you soon.